In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this trending pop-up test using Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. So I got this whole idea from Premiere Girl. She's so good with Premiere Pro. If you want to see more tutorials about Premiere Pro, I'll leave her link down there below. So with this very tutorial, you will need a test plugin that I created for you guys. With the basic title, when you use it, you will not be able to get the exact effect that we want, as you can see on the screen. When you download and install the test plugin, you'll find it under titles. I name it Test Basic. So with this, we'll drag it and drop it on our timeline. So this was a video I was just saying something in. I'll play it for you guys to see it later on. Now make sure you have the test at the first word that you were saying in the video. So mine starts right over here. Then we go to the test inspector side. We change the test to the first few words that I was saying. And I'm going to use carbs, but you can use small carbs if you want to. Then I'll drag it to somewhere down here. You can place it exactly where you feel like placing it. Then you can change the font style. I'll go with the famous comic card. That's from Mr. Beast. You can find that on thefont.com. And then with the size, I'll maintain it at 60. Then scroll down. With the outline, I'll take that. Click on show. And then we'll change the color to black. Close this. With the width, we'll change it to 8. So now click on the title inspector side. Over there, I provided you guys with a parameter. That's what we're going to use for this effect. And make sure you are at the first frame of the test on our timeline. Then make a keyframe on scale. Go two frames forward. Make another keyframe on scale. Then go one frame forward again. Make another keyframe over there. This time around with this, we'll change it to 90%. Then click on this to go to the previous keyframe that we made. Or you can use the drop down menu over here. Click on previous and it's going to take you to the previous keyframe that we made. Over there, we'll change it to 110%. Then use this arrow to go to the very first keyframe that we made or you can still use the drop down menu and go to the previous and it's going to take you to the very first keyframe that we made. Over there we'll change it to 40%. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. So as you can see, it pops up and then go back to the normal size that we want. Now I'm going to do it for the next words or the next sentence I was saying in this video. So somewhere here, I'll make a cut, command B delete the rest and this what you do make a duplicate of the first test that we have press option or alt drag it to the side and now because we made a duplicate of the first test the keyframes are going to be the same we don't need to do anything with the keyframes all we have to do is just change the test or the sentence that we have so i'll go to the test inspector side and then write the speech or the word or the sentence i was saying now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like so now if you want to know more about Final Cut Pro, you can click on here. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.